she's known for impeccably polished style, but today the Duchess of Cambridge proved her ability to seamlessly transition from smart to sporty. The Duchess arrived at Bond Primary School in Mitcham to see the work of the Wimbledon Junior Tennis Initiative, having changed out of the Bowden coat she wore this morning into 220 pounds luxury joggers. Kate rocked the sport luxe look in the Monreal London tuxedo track pants, which she's worn on two previous occasions, and 170-pound Nike Air Vapor Max trainers, loved by footballers such as Cristiano Ronaldo and Rio Ferdinand. Her sapphire and diamond engagement ring was also back on, after she removed it this morning for her visit to the Great Ormond Street, in accordance with the hospital's policy on minimal jewelry. Earlier today, the royal cheered up four-year-old patient Raphael Chana as they exchanged smiles and high-fives this morning, when the Duchess visited his bedside. Kate, who is known for her love of the high street and today Kate proved her loyalty again, by opting for a vibrant red coat from Bowdoin, a firm favorite with middle-class mums. The royal, 36, wrapped up her baby bump in the 220 pounds number worn over a custom-made peach dress, which she previously wore, while pregnant with Prince George, and even braved chilly temperatures in a peach dress legs. On arrival, Kate was welcomed by nine-year-old cystic fibrosis patient Ava Watt who gave her two bears called Bernard and Wendy. Ava, who lives just around the corner from the hospital, said Kate told her the teddy bears will be a lovely present. She also gave Kate a thank you card with a poem inside which said gosh gives hope to so many children in their families, and described it as a magical place. Ava's mother Killy Watt, 41, an opera singer who performed alongside James Corden in One Chance, also met Kate and said she thinks the Duchess found the visit emotional. Kate visited Sienna Maguire, who is six months old and has a complex heart and lung condition after being born premature at 33 weeks. Sienna, from Cambridgeshire, has spent much of her first six months in hospital as she does not have a right lung. Bending down to see her, Kate said, you've gone through a lot, Missy. The Duchess also met four-year-old Raphael Chana, from East Preston, who is waiting for a heart transplant. Raphael told her he likes olives, and Kate said she loves them, adding, I used to eat lots and lots of olives, when I was little as well. He said he likes pasta, and Kate told him, Charlotte likes pasta too. The Duchess was visiting Great Ormond Street Hospital, gosh, to open the latest phase in the institution's ambitious redevelopment project. Kate met with young patients and their families to hear about their experiences of the enhanced facilities in the completed Middle Children's Medical Center. The center has transformed the hospitals and patient facilities and fulfills its goal of providing modern accommodation for all the young patients and allowing parents or carers to stay comfortably by their bedside. It was completed over two stages, first the Morgan Stanley Clinical Building was created followed by the recently finished Premiering Clinical Building. The second clinical building involved redeveloping and refurbishing the Children's Hospital's cardiac wing and is now home to a new surgery center alongside inpatient wards for medical specialties like infectious diseases and cardiorespiratory. During the visit Kate also met staff caring for young patients and talked to clinicians carrying out cutting-edge research to help the most seriously ill children. The royal family has a long-standing relationship with the hospital with Queen Victoria becoming its first patron after it was founded in 1852.